Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. Thank you for all the donations, the bookings, the confirmation through email. In general, just the loving and positive vibes that we do share over here. This is not a channel for the weak-hearted. We fight demons over here. This is a channel for spiritual warriors. Now, with that being said, this may or may not resonate with you. Parts may resonate, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. We have some investments. I'm also hearing returns. Some of you have been doing the work when it comes to staying focused and correcting your thinking. I'm also hearing analytical. Some of you may be going over paperwork documents. I heard documentation. Some of you may, may be filing taxes. I heard tax write-offs. Some of you could be independent contractors. And then again, I'm getting that same thing, different tax bracket. I'm being told to, you know, to tell you to seek professional help for whatever it is, especially if it has anything to do with someone's estate. Some of you do feel isolated, okay? But it's by the divine's um, doing, okay? It's, it's, this isolation is happening for you to learn how to express yourself, okay? So I feel like there's been a change in perspective when it comes down to the way you look at the world in general, okay? Okay, so here we go. We go with the doubles, right? So look, we got a one and a four. That's five. Two and a two, right? We're talking about stability. So some of you are changing your ways of thinking or you need to change your ways of thinking. Okay. Somebody wants to, somebody wants financial freedom or freedom from a situation that they feel is toxic is going to resonate different for you all. Four is all about foundation. Some of you are learning how to discipline yourself. What's that over there? Yeah. It rolled on five again, five and six. Y'all can't see that, but... Five and six, right? Yeah. And then on the opposite side, it's a nine. Ah. Good evening. Grand rising. I heard, don't, I heard don't let the doorknob hit you with a good Lord split you. And ironically, I heard before I turned on the camera, bend, bend the sapling or spoil the rod or spoil the child. I remember... Hearing my grandmother say that as a child, some of you may resonate with that, okay? And then I'm getting that fear of God energy. I just seen Jesus. So some of you have been scapegoated, all right? So we have Merlin popping up again. You know, Merlin love to stay over here. Some of you are master manifestors. Some of you could be alchemists, okay? So we have guru. You could be a guru, all right? Ramadaz. Uh, two and a seven is nine. So, you know, we got that nine energy. Some of you are very passionate uh, about your endeavors. Okay. Again, it's about creativity. You're thinking of new, innovative ways to do things and you're backed by the saints. Okay. Some of you may um, have a different faith. Okay. Or you may be researching different faiths. I also hear multicultural for some of you. All right. I feel like <laughs> your success is making someone very irritated here. There's people watching your transformation. <clears throat> They're seeing you in this uh, magician energy with Archangel Ariel. Some of you may need to connect with this Archangel here. Somebody could see you as an earth angel, a star seed with the environmental abundance. This is talking about money. Okay. We have Hathar here, number 33. You're a spiritual teacher, a spiritual trailblazer. You are someone that is complete and whole by yourself. You have the ability to see things from both perspectives. And I'm here and that's why I mind my business. So Goddess Lakishmi has been coming up a lot here. Archangel Uriel. Something is going to be illuminated to you about the past or uh, about how to move forward. Okay, it's going to take uh, inner strength, discipline. That's what I'm hearing. 
cut the cards. And yeah, look, Mercury. Some of you did something yesterday. You may have signed a contract or took a leap of faith here. If they show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, some of you are connecting with your sixth sense. I feel like some of you are learning how to be complete and whole on your own. Or someone you are, you are dealing with is. I'm hearing that song. I'm tired of being stepped on. Uh, yeah. So we have the Empress here. There's a transformation that was unstoppable. Tell your haters thank you. All right. You were dealing with some very judgmental individual or you made judgment. There could be a lot of Scorpios watching this. I heard Scorpio rising. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I hear somebody is getting accused of something. Okay. With Mercury here or Jupiter, somebody could be trying to plot on someone's abundance. Yeah. Make someone unstable. Okay, so this is someone where their chakras is all messed up. Jupiter's all about expansion and growth. It's about abundance. It's about knowledge. It's about travel. Okay, somebody could be recklessly driving or drinking and driving here. Yeah. So for some of you, you have a musician. Musician. That was weird. You have uh, a magician coming towards you. Okay, or somebody that's very mentally conflicted with this Mars energy. Somebody could want to argue with you. Somebody could also take off or have taken off in a heated argument. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, you know, this car been reversed for a few days, and I've been told to keep it reversed because all the this frustration and anger that's transmuted through me has to go back to the person. I'm not keeping that. Okay. A Leo could be involved. There could be an argument, a fight. I heard also a shooting. Okay, because somebody, yeah, somebody could be traveling, trying to avoid being caught. I'm getting, yeah, the ghost, uh, the ghost card wanted to come out. Somebody, somebody possibly ghosted you or left in the middle of the night. Yeah, you could be dealing with someone on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius or Libra and Scorpio here. Uh. So, yeah, I'm I'm hearing somebody is experiencing bad health, okay? But for, for you, my stars here, some of you are learning how to communicate your wants and needs, okay? You had to take the time or you are taking the time to step back and reevaluate something here, okay? You have an emperor watching you and you are, also have a uh, karmic false flame, okay? This emperor is definitely a male for you. Okay, but I do feel like some of you are in that emperor energy. Somebody is very obsessive and possessive over you. This person has left you waiting, you're hanging. They could have been in, in uh, a partnership with a Scorpio or Pisces here. Okay, something that wasn't worth someone's investment here. They feel like they wasted their time here. Mm hmm. There could have also been an Aries or a Scorpio that ghosted another Scorpio, Aries, or um, Pisces here. Yeah, definitely strong Aries and Scorpio, but damn. Ooh, somebody's breaking out of the illusion. What else do my viewers need to see? Yeah, this person is angry, okay? So balance is being restored. Somebody could be moving towards a Libra, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, an Aquarius could be involved as well. You can show me. It was black magic, slander, lies, manipulation. Happy spell work went out over um, this full moon. And I heard that it's already all been um, returned to sender. It could have caused a death. Okay. Yeah. Especially uh, the death could have had something to do with a pastor or a priest or someone that's looked up in the community, but they looked up towards in the community, but they're really vengeful, spiteful. They're a dictator. They're a spiritual narcissist is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this is somebody, people are looked up to this person as a guide. Yeah, there there was some sort of illusion. I'm hearing a car crash with somebody. Yeah, somebody could be trying to come in. This could be spiritually come, trying to come into your dreams here to disturb your peace. Peace? Peace. <laughs> to disturb your peace here. I feel like balance was restored. With Jupiter being here, you're going to gain some sort of knowledge. 
Okay, so yeah, somebody tried to gain some knowledge on astral travel or projection here. Okay, they could have been projecting some negative energy towards your home, towards your family. Uh, I feel like this person is in spiritual jail or they're in a spiritual courtroom. It happens in the ethers before it manifests on 3D. People need to realize this. Somebody could be going for a divorce or they want a divorce. Okay, a Scorpio could be involved here. A Libra could be involved here. A Taurus could be involved here, Pisces. But what I really truly feel is this is a mother. This could be your person's mother, your mother, an auntie, a mother figure, or just I heard a disgruntled wife. Okay. So this is someone that, that's very ticky. They like things their way. They like to look good. Uh, oh, shoot. I heard a, a mask and say she just sit on her ass. Ooh. Someone found out that they have a wife that is a witch, a dark witch, though. Some of you need to look up the meanings of things. This dropped on the floor. Okay, so yeah, Virgo. What is that? That's a magician. So there was all type of illusions surrounding this partnership. A lot of spell work, manipulation, lies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So somebody's going to court or going to jail. Okay, somebody be, could be in a uh, court battle over children. It could have something to do with a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, or Libra. Okay? Yeah, somebody has a Libra. Uh, judge or lawyer is what I... There's some sort of tower, some something that was unexpected that when this person sent out that negative energy towards you, it went back to their home, caused a transformation. I heard it broke a spell. Somebody broke a spell. Any type of spell, a freezer spell, uh, a knot spell, um, when they're trying to put your intellect in a jar, jar spells, okay? Honey jar, I'm hearing for some of you. Somebody was sensing some sort of transformation happen, okay? Something that was faded. <clears throat> no, let me go with this one here. Somebody's trying to send distorted energy to confuse people. Okay, I'm hearing they take pleasure. If you are somebody that has a channel and you're experiencing um, delays, a lot of false starts and things of that sort, they're taking pleasure in the fact that a lot of you are dealing with racists. So this is somebody that, this is a oppressor type of energy. They'll team up with anybody to take someone down. Very mentally manipulative, two-faced is what I'm hearing. Why is air here? You turned your back from this this false person, this communication. Like, your back is turned from all this negative energy. You're not paying attention to none of these people. Why is air here? <clears throat> yeah, so somebody was hoping that they didn't get caught. For some of you, this is a masculine. They made a foolish mistake with the food car in reverse. They lack faith. Right? For some of you, they took a, a leap of faith in the wrong direction. They went backwards, okay? And that didn't work out. I feel like you were a third party. They could have did this behind your back, hoping you wouldn't find out. Yep, we're throwing shade here. So I feel like this person does a lot of pillow talk. They sit back um, with multiple people and talk about you. This could be with family and friends also. Uh, whoever this person is that slept with their cousin is what I'm hearing. Yeah, so somebody's definitely in, de in some sort of depression. It's, it's, yeah, so somebody's missing you. They want to bring you back into some sort of third party. So they're putting some sort of love spell, sending energy to you, trying to arouse you in your dreams is what I'm hearing. Be mindful of that. Temperance. Make sure you do your protection work over um, when you get ready to go to bed. So for some of you, this is someone that somebody has a child with. They could have went back to a child's mother. I'm hearing some of you could also be a wife. You don't have no children, but they have children with someone else. Somebody's doing underhanded tactics here and about to get caught. Okay. So here we have it. We met at we met at the club. A party without cake is just a meeting. Okay. So yeah, it went like this. Somebody could be healing from some, what is this? We met at a club. Sagittarius could have met someone at a club or they could work at a club. For some of you, a Sagittarius, uh, 
like strippers or they like to watch exotic women or yeah or her scantily clad they like yeah this person has fetishes this person wants to restore something with you i feel like this sagittarius likes your body are you like theirs they feel like you are the most powerful piece in the deck with the black uh black queen most po powerful piece in the in the game right this is somebody that definitely ghosted you so there could be some posted information Okay, a Sagittarius could see some posted information. A Sagittarius could post some inf information. Okay, so yeah, guilty pleasure, missing in action. I feel like somebody... I'm hearing a sneaky link. I feel like this person, you know, they have a guilty pleasure. Their guilty pleasure is women. Okay, they like, I heard they like to pay strippers. So somebody definitely met someone at a at a club here. Any more information about this? Yeah, somebody that wasn't their equal. This could have been somebody that was younger, somebody that they felt like they could control. I feel like they felt you were too opinionated. Okay, a lot of people had a lot of things to say about you because you were different. Somebody's going through some depression. I feel like they slandered your name. Yeah, people are talking about you at the office, especially if you have a leadership role where you have to speak up. I'm seeing someone standing on a podium. Somebody could have to testify. What is this overcoming energy? Mistakes are proof that you are trying. So, yeah, somebody's definitely trying to do magic. I feel... <clears throat> <clears throat> they're doing delay spells and they feel like because they haven't been brought into court that is working okay this is a family member or a friend somebody could um, have uh, caught an illness or something like that what is this it's okay not to be okay try 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 again so this person is very persistent this is yeah this person is very persistent. They don't want to let go here. This person watches you obsessively. They obsessive, They obsess over your body. I'm also hearing masturbation. Like somebody's really sick. Okay. So, yeah, definitely. It says only look back to see how far you've come. So, somebody is in depression mode. Okay. Either you or them, they feel like uh, they made a lot of mistakes. They feel like they made a lot of wrong choices. Yeah, look, stars can't shine without darkness. So this person sent you through hell. They did a lot of harm. Uh, they broke a lot of laws here. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Why is this here? So it's, a, it's a, uh, a Sagittarius that's trying to heal or they want to heal something. Yeah, this is a Sagittarius female that's in their creative energy. You don't have to be a Sagittarius. You could just be very passionate. Some of you want to travel or you are traveling. I feel like you're using your pain to fuel your endeavors. I feel like you think you believe you will always be a third party. Yeah, and, and that's mentally conflicting for you. Okay, it keeps you in a mental prison here. Somebody could be flying. Everything can't fit. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you need to go. Make sure you check your flight arrangements or something. Something could be happening with somebody's bags. Somebody could also lose a bag on a trip. Why is Libra here? Yeah, something about your bags. Okay, so like it's a certain way that you got to pack your bags or something like that. And some things you might have to get rid of at the airport if you're going on a trip. And some of you, you may lose a bag because I'm seeing something drop off of a train. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody could be throwing something off a train. Wow. We have the Imperial Galactic Army. Enforcement. Okay. Uh, over evil. A stormtrooper. Yeah, somebody could be running from the police here. On the flip side, somebody is a spiritual gangster, spiritual warrior. Okay. You didn't let the adversity uh, break you here. You developed your wings. Now people are looking at you, watching you, stalking you, lusting over you. Why is Libra here? Somebody's lusting over someone else's money, finances. A uh, man, uh, man or a woman, yeah, something's gonna come to the light <clears throat> with the 
sun card a position here, this masculine energy. This is somebody that is very intellectual. This is Yang energy. Somebody could have a morning flight or they could be arriving in the morning. This person is watching you. I pray for us. Yeah, so, yeah, for some of you, this is, okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you, it's going to go two ways. Some of you, you have people from your past that send a negative energy family and friends to stop you from moving forward. Others of you, okay, and or this person kept you as a third party, they kept you a secret, and they kept going back and forth. Others of you, you have two individuals, a karmic masculine, a karmic, uh, a karmic masculine, <clears throat> excuse me, and a high level soulmate somewhere in this energy, okay? So they're trying to, like, make themselves be something that they're not, you know, basically trying to take over the reading with this negative energy. But for some of you, the masculine, uh, ooh, somebody could have did some work to have a masculine go back to a home. And when they came back to a home, there was some sort of judgment. Somebody could have got served some, some papers. Okay. Or as soon as this person did, some magic or whatever, they would serve some papers, okay? It caused, um, it caused the will to turn in your favor. I'm hearing under her, underhanded taxi, tactics. For others of you, there's a masculine that's going through the same thing, but in a different way because they're attached to a karmic family. Why is the hermit card? They could have been guided to stay in something toxic, something that was an illusion, Okay, this person could be astral traveling. Some of you, you're having five D sex with this person. The hermit card here. Yeah, it's like you connect with them and you get downloads or something like that. They could be on the east coast. They could live on the east coast or on the east of their town. Somebody's has a Virgo in the north node. Yeah. Somebody has Virgo in the north node. Okay, so shadow slavery. So we have this uh, person that's masking themselves as a spiritual leader, but they're really a magician, an alchemist, a witch, a wizard, a shaman, a warlock. They want to keep you in bondage with this shadow slavery card, total ownership of another. Somebody could also have an addiction to heroin or their, their mother did, or somebody has some sort of addiction uh, here. Why is guide here? Some of you are, yeah, somebody guided somebody. What, what, let me see. People please, look, they went to a spiritual leader, somebody that they trust. Karmic is bored, heads up, Leviticus 1911, ESV version, the great deception. So yeah, somebody's child's mother, child's father, spiritual leader, you know, their mother or something, auntie. Family, they had, they told this person not to mess with you. For some of you, this is the karmic that was in the past. This person is going through some sort of depression. I'm hearing dark night of the soul. They could also be drinking a lot because they had some spell work done uh, by their child's mother or mother or something like that. Very wicked. And this person don't really care. Okay, with so what car, with the so what being there, my bad choices make good stories. To me, that's saying that they don't care that people know that they are evil or they don't care that somebody was in a depressive state. Why is so what here? Yeah, people pleasing. So, yeah, I feel like they met up with somebody that <clears throat> definitely matched their energy. Now this masculine is in regret. They keep completing toxic cycles. Yeah, they keep going back to this person or they make they keep themselves available for somebody that really don't want them. Why is Neptune here? I heard it's because it's their uh, body, right? I don't know. Somebody could have wore a superwoman suit or something like that. Somebody has a fascination with superwoman. Void of heart. Yeah. So we have a psychic or a Pisces. I heard that's being manipulated, okay? But there could also be a Pisces that's obsessively watching you or you are obsessively watching someone else. You are stubborn because you um, don't want to speak up to this person or you know something, you know something about what's going on about somebody being stuck. 
somebody uh, it's also a Pisces that needs to use their intuition trust their heart yeah yeah somebody what did I just tell you a Pisces is in a connection with somebody that don't love them I hear they're a host I heard spiritless I don't I'm not sure. Spiritless. I know soul is spiritless. What is that? So they a zombie. What is this? Who is this? That's void uh, of a heart here. I feel like you had to trust your intuition about this person. Some of you are going to have to trust your intuition about somebody coming in. This could be a person that had that should have trusted their intuition. I feel like they were people pleasing, like they had an image to obtain here. This person could, you know, have the image of a of a player, so they chose to go with like I don't the social norm. Like we got some more. My bad choices, bad choices, interference, unstable, not ready. So this people, this person rejects true love okay they like it easy this is somebody that held back the fact that they that they love you or they was i don't know, mesmerized or something they didn't they could have thought that you put a love spell on them because this person i, I heard i don't trust these hoes bad choices why is that here yeah look whatever didn't whatever don't kill you make you stronger Okay, so somebody's child, this could be an adult child, this could be a, a, a little child, um, watches you if you have a platform or watches them and they report back everything. I'm also seeing a little girl, a little boy standing at the door listening to a man's conversation here. Why is I love you always? Some It's a male that's saying, tell, talking to their children um, because they had to leave or something like that. And they're telling the children, uh, that I love you. You know, they're having a talk here. So for some, some, I, I hear fake love straight up to my, to my face, straight up to my, that song. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm hearing it with the wake up and fight. Somebody put somebody under a love spell could be a Taurus, they could have uh, a Taurus or Libra could be involved, they could have it in Venus, you could have it in Venus I'm also hearing the North Node This per a person attempted uh, to hack someone's account this Black Widow, this person that's skilled in uh, sorcery particularly uh, breakup spells, like they get a kick out of breaking up people's homes like they purposely, like this is like a stalker, this is somebody that enters internet stocks couples if you start having fights and don't know what's happening, it's because this person is uh, putting spells on people. Like, they're really unstable. There's Black Widow here. This could be somebody that they have a child with, or you do. Why is the witch card here? Yeah, they're trying to lost. They're trying to reel someone in. Okay, trying to get someone to leave a partnership. I heard a YouTuber. Somebody's, they, they like, they working on families, um... On family channels and yeah, that's fucked up. On family channels and channels that have partners, they shall be evil spirits on earth, and evil spirits shall they be called. For some of you, you may share content on your chat on your channel or on your page, and and this weirdo attacks these people why is black widow here with the hex they they lie about it this person could have said you put <laughs> this person is going around telling people that you put spells on them or a content creator is a witch okay for some of you this is somebody from an lgbtq community that's lying on you or on someone i heard a youtuber they shall be evil. Mm, mm, mm. Use me, Lord. Spark. Yeah, begin. Lead. Direct. Intense temper. So this person could be an Aries or you could be an Aries that this is happening to. So this is somebody that fakes, uh, that's fake religious. Okay. They, they always, you know, quote Bible uh scriptures and one of them may be use me lord okay um but this is somebody that doesn't have a connection with the divine or 
This is somebody that doesn't realize because of their faith beliefs, they're, they attracted someone that was their match. And they definitely got used by what Lord we don't know. Santa Cruz. Yeah. So, so word got out. <laughs> somebody went to a fortune teller that hates them. Okay, this person could be from the LGBTQ community. You could be from the LGBTQ community. It just depends. Okay, somebody is uh, doing readings to be able to take trips and get um, surgery. Why is using me lower here? I heard fake divine feminine. Many bossed heels. So this is somebody that you possibly don't know that stalk you and that's very envious. They have childhood trauma. They could also be on heroin. Okay. I'm just saying they want to keep you in slavery, total ownership of another. For some of you, this is happening to your person, the karmic person that is no longer in your life. I'm hearing that you left. What is what about this fortune teller? Yeah, somebody's going to prison. Yeah, somebody's like a scam artist and it's a female. They're going to go to prison. They could be a YouTuber. OK, so for some of you, uh. Like, if you are masculine, you got some sort of offer coming. Because for some of you, it ain't happened yet. You need to stop talking to people about your divine feminine. Look, alternative lifestyle. This person, this there's a, a witch sorceress or something here. A madam or something that... Uh, wants to be a part of your relationship this person gave bad new or bad advice on purpose they watch you they stalk you okay they also fake like they're religious they talk bad about divination but they watch it and they even practice it themselves here i heard that girl is boys uh, for some of you this is a person that they met at a club uh, with unidentified flying objects things are moving uh, things are happening in your favor things are definitely moving here uh, like whatever is whoever he is is in this alternative lifestyle. Uh, yeah, that could have something to do with drugs. It doesn't necessarily have to be hair on, but yeah, they, they handcuff themselves to a situation. So they don't want to let go. And they're using magic to keep themselves uh, appearing as a third party in your relationship. Look, you be you. I'll be me. God bless a child who has his own. All right. So the, the, for those that don't know, this, this is like um, one of my Lady Day cards. And God bless the child who has his own, was a Billy, was in a Billy Holiday song, for those that do know. Okay. This is for someone that don't. That is um, an epic line. God bless the child who has his own because it was said to her by a relative. I'm not sure if it was her mother, her sister, and it was over money. Okay, and the relative told her, God blesses the child who has his own. And she put that in her song, okay? So this is definitely somebody that has an addiction, whether it's to a toxic substance or to you. Okay, with willpower, this is somebody that you cut off. Like, you learned a lot or you need to... Yeah, like I'm, I'm hearing that the energy can't, the energy can't affect you here. You're too protected. Okay, let it be. Somebody, yeah. All right, I'm being told to end it there. I'll tell you later.